Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of 5 Bookish Facts. So today we are doing 5 Bookish Facts about Franz Kafka, and this was requested by Josh from Literary Gladiators. So thank you, Josh. And without further ado, 5 Facts. So fact number one is that, like a lot of writers of his time, Kafka actually left an order behind that said he wanted his unpublished writing to be burned upon his desk. However, luckily for us, his literary executor and his close friend Max Brod ignored the request and because of that we have such works as The Trial. Okay, fact number two is that Kafka was terrified by mice, so he considered it to be an irrational fear, but that didn't stop him from worrying that mice were going to take over his apartment. Fact number three is that Kafka was a man after my own heart because he was a vegetarian. So he, the story goes that he once looked at a fish in an aquarium and said to it, Now I can look at you in peace. I don't eat you anymore. He ate vegetarian dishes instead of meat ones for both ethical and aesthetic reasons. So he, he said, One sits at the table laughing and talking. And meanwhile, tiny shreds of meat between the teeth produce germs of decay and fermentation. No less than a dead rat squashed between two stones. Okay, so fact number four is that he sort of invented the hard hat. So he spent some time working for the Workers' Accident Insurance Institute for the Kingdom of Bohemia. And while he was there, that left him with a lot of free time to spend on writing. Basically, while he was working at the Workers' Accident Insurance Institute, he realised that a lot of people were getting into accidents and having head injuries. So he came up with a hat that made those workers much safer. The only real piece of evidence for this is a guy called Peter Drucker, who was an Austrian management professor. And he claims that it happens, but he doesn't seem to have any evidence to back it up. And so, who knows? Fact number five is that he wasn't the only Franz Kafka, so a lot of weird coincidences happened to him. One of them is that when he moved to Berlin, another guy called Franz Kafka moved to Berlin exactly the same time. He also once went out with a woman who rented an apartment from another dude called Franz Kafka. So there were multiple of them. That explains it all. So anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've got a request for a future episode. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.